Howdy, I'm Mikey Diaz. Yesterday, Thursday the 29th, the MLB season kicked off and is in full swing. It is one of the earliest opening days in MLB history. Go Sox! In other news... For the past couple weeks, walking into NHS was like walking into a different time zone. You may have noticed that the time on your phones or watches was about five minutes ahead of the times on the wall clocks. We at the transcript decided it was time to investigate, but things got a little out of hand. I took to the halls of NHS and asked students what they thought of this phenomenon. I think that it's really inconvenient. It's definitely confusing. It's inconvenient. Yesterday I was late for work. I kind of like it because I've, I've, I would have been late otherwise a couple days, but you know, I'm not late. It's groovy. I think that it's been more or less okay. I quite enjoy the clocks being five minutes off. Uh, because at the end of the day, the clock's at like 1.55 and then the bell rings and I'm like, school's over, let's go. So I enjoy it quite a bit, actually. I've been a little bit confused as to when I should realistically show up to school. You know, it's actually pretty tough. Um, there was one scenario uh, yesterday, actually, where I don't want to completely place the blame on the clocks, but I got a detention for being late to class and... Um, in my opinion, it was fully because the clocks were off, but it was also a little bit of a miscommunication between my teacher and I, and so that actually has been a big impact on my life, and uh, I'm a little upset about it, and I'm hoping that the administration understands that this is actually a pretty big annoyance for the student body. I get up early. I show up at, like, 9.05, you know. I rush here, and then the clocks are only at 9 o'clock, you know. I could have slept for five more minutes. It's just, it's so hard. It also m makes me question, like, why the school can't solve such a seemingly trivial problem. Like, I feel like it's just moving clocks back a little bit. Who the f cares? We get out at the same time every day. We start at the same time every day, and the bells are taken care of by the people in the office. They're great. So it really does not affect me at all, and it shouldn't affect anyone else. Thank you. Listen. Brian Lombardi is a fine individual and a great principal. He really is. And if he can't fix it, it's got to be some kind of Lord of the Rings type situation. So that's what we're saying. Like, I'm willing to be Frodo here. This is Bilbo Baggins or whoever the other guy was. And we're going to go and we're going to fix this thing. All right? But that wasn't good enough. The students of NHS need answers and need answers now. I demanded to speak with Brian Lombardi, principal at NHS, to get to the bottom of this. Hey, Lambo, Here for our interview. Actually, Mike, you're, um, you're late. Sorry. I'm very busy. This is uncalled for. You need to be on time. We have clocks for a reason. The clocks were off, Lombardi, and that is exactly why I'm here. Good point. Why are the clocks off? Well, because our system, unfortunately, over time, loses time, which means that when you come into the building, you think you're on time, but actually you're tardy. So to counterbalance that, we set the time just a little bit ahead. So then when it loses time, you're actually on time. When did this begin? I want answers. The whole time loss continuum? Yeah. It's been here since I began ten, at least 10 years ago. It's part of this machine. We're all powerless to it. Why hasn't this issue been fixed? I just did it. Just fixed it. Starting tomorrow, back on track. Is he supposed to say that? Well, I'm taking this. You haven't heard the last of me. You know where I am. If I'm here any day. Well, everyone, time is fixed. And you're welcome. NHS's clocks are back on track. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week in the Twilight Zone. I mean, the transcript.